Good evening, Ella Nilsson. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am doing great. Very good. Very happy to see you. Very happy to have you here. Hello, hello. Now I can listen to you better. Oh, it was kind of kind of choppy before. Okay, hello, Carlita. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Jose Luis as well. Welcome. Okay, we're going to wait for your partners to finish connecting. And we're going to work today. Today we're going to do a little bit of reading, a little bit of writing, and for sure we're going to start a new topic on uh, today. I hope you have finished working on the platform for the first week. And I hope that you haven't had any difficulty while doing it. Did you finish working on unit number one in the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Did you have any difficulty besides the yes. periods at the beginning? Aparte de los problemas de puntuación que nos estaba dando antes. No other problem? No, teacher. Okay, good. So that is very, very good because for this moment, I think we should have finished the unit number one. And if you have finished number two or three, that's perfect, right? That's even better. Good but, evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. So it's a pleasure to have everybody here. Most of your friends are connecting. Thank you. Are connecting right now. Well, okay. So uh, I am going to load the platform here. This is the This is the first part of the of the sections, the homework. And for sure, we are, are going to complete this type of exercises, right? Do you remember about the first one? It says, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. can't help you today. I'm really busy. We say, I just can't, can't. can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. Uh -huh. Look, it's right there. Can, Can you see it? Can you it's see so it? Obvious. It's so obvious. Good. I I can speak I can German. Speak I can speak German. I live in Germany for eight years. Very good. She doesn't have a driving license. She she can't she can't, she can't drive, drive a car. car. Very good job. So these are the exercises that you should have completed. We did these ones before, right? We did this one that was like the, the one that was giving us a lot of problem, right? But we did it before, I, we did it in class as well. And in this one, for example, I have here my secret weapon. Mm. And in this one, here you have, right? It will be a great opportunity to study abroad, right? The next one, a training could be beneficial for our employees. What about the next one? I'm working less hours will be another benefit. Working less hours will be another benefit. What about the next one? Weekends off. Weekends off, it would be a good option to have happy employees. 
Weekends off would be a good option to have happy employees. Good, very good. And the next one, Maria. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department, right? Very good. And this one, for example, this is with the sentences that we were studying yesterday. And the first one says, we haven't seen Mary? Since the party. Very good. Number two. I have been waiting for many years. I have been waiting for many years. Very good. What about the next one? I work, I work from, from, seven from seven to seven. Good. Number four. I work there. In. In. in Very 20, good. In 2006. In 2006, right? Yes. Or in 2006. What about number five? I live in. I live in. Very good. I live in Ayutuxtepec. And the next one, and the last one that we have for this unit is uh, multiple choice with Ken and Kent. What about this one? It says I. Rafael. I can. I can. I can speak two languages, Russian and English. English. What about number two? My sister Kent. Kent type fast. Type She's fast. very She's slow. She's very slow. Mm. Like Number three. Turtle. Like a turtle, right? Number three. I have been your friend. I have been your friend. Oh. I have been your friend. I think it's since. 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 I have been your friend. Since. I have been your friend. Since. Since. Since 2016. Since 2016, 2016. right? 2016. Since, since 2016. Number four, I live in San Salvador. In since. 2005. Okay. <laughs> in this case, you say, I live in San Salvador. I live in, see. Si. In 2005, because if not, you need, I have lived. Because since, remember that it's almost since. always with present perfect, right? Yeah. I live in San Salvador in 2005. I am working at, at Credit Bank, right? Credit Bank. And there you go. You have your answers. So that was basically unit number one, right? And after this, for sure, in number two, you are going to have five exercises as well. Okay. Let me know. Yeah. Here in number two, you are going to have also five different activities, okay? So if you can start checking on them, si pueden empezar a revisarlas ya y empezar a, 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 a verlas, a hacerlas, o si ya las hicieron, so perfect, okay? So that was something important about this day to start our class today, okay? So most of you have finished with that unit. Okay, my dear class, here <clears throat> I have a, I have the class for today. Yesterday we did a little reading, right? Yesterday we did a little reading in, on the book. And for sure, I ask you to go over the reading and some of the examples that you had on it. Right now, let me just check on the book. If I have it around here, give me just a second. Let me see, let me see. And here I have the book. Okay, I will share the book. Yesterday, I told you to work a little bit on the reading. I don't know if you had the time. Tuvieron el tiempo de verlo? Yes or no? Be honest. Good evening, yes. teacher. Hello. Here, work teacher. You are working, okay, Juan Francisco. But I, I hope that you can pay attention to the class and you can participate as well and you can practice, okay? Okay, teacher. 
<clears throat> so here, yesterday we were talking about the requirements of a good manager, right? The requirements of a good manager to be a people person, to be a good communicator, to be technically proficient, to encourage teamwork, and to lead by example. Those were the five steps that you need to have in order to be a good manager. And I ask you to answer some true and false questions, right? Let me see. Um, Eric, can you help me to read the questions? The five questions. Uh, it is more important to manage a system that people. Uh, to be a great communi com communicator. A communicator. One should use as many tools as possible. Three, in order to be technical profility, deepening uh, one's opinion is uh, enough. 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 Ah, okay. uh, four, encountering think world is, a, is as important as begging part of the time. Five. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. That is not true. Because if you are a manager, you have to be there all the time in all the activities, right? It is difficult that if you are a manager, you can actually skip the work. You have to be there. So. It is more important to manage systems than people. Do you think that that is true or false? That it is more important to know about systems than managing people. What do you think? False. False. Why do you think it's false? Why do you think this statement is false? That managing because, uh -huh. because it's important to have communicated with the people because it, it, it manage the people, not the not the system. To manage the people, not the system, right? That is the most important thing. Because the system can work, the system can be okay, but if people are not okay, nothing is going to work. Okay, so it's more important. If you have the system and you don't have the people, nothing works. Pueden tener el mejor sistema, la mejor computadora y todo, pero si no tenemos gente, you cannot work at all. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. What do you think about this one? Okay, there you go. Hello. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Do you think that you need to manage tools in order to be a good communicator? Yes, it's true, I think. Uh-huh, why? Because they have to communicate all the things very well and try to make themselves understand. Okay, to try to make themselves understood, right? Yeah. Good, very good. Let's see. Do you think you need tools in order to be a good communicator? ¿Necesitas saber mucho de tecnología y cosas para ser un buen comunicador? Maybe. Maybe, right? Yes, some of the tools are important, right? But the most important tool... They have to use PowerPoint. Very, very good. They have to use PowerPoint and computers, right? But the most important tool that you need to have is to be a people person, right? You need to have this... And be sociable. Yeah, to be sociable. Good. So in this case, you should use many as many tools as possible. It's good, right? You can have as a true. 
In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Do you think that it's enough to give your opinion to be technically proficient? And just to say, yeah, funciona. No, no funciona. Do you think it's enough or do you need to take action? False. It's false. You have you, to say why. Right? You have to say why and you need to take action, right? It is not like, yeah, I think it's it's not working. Uh -huh, but let's do something, right? You need to be, for sure, giving your opinion and actually helping, right? Not just pointing at what's happening. Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. What is the meaning of encouraging? ¿Qué significa encouraging? Animar. Animar. Alentar. Alentar. Right? Yeah. Animar. Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. Uh -huh. true. It's true, right? You have to be encouraging teamwork and also to be part of the team. And the last one. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. False. False. <laughs> I can say false. 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 And depending when you work or where you work is true. If you work mm. maybe for a governmental the government. area, <laughs> they can say, I, I declare the days off. No, but most of them also work, right? Most of them work. So. It can be true and false, true and false. But I will say false. In many of the cases, you are there working, there early, there late, right? It, it, many people say like, no, si sos tu propio jefe, nadie te dice que horas entrar y salir. That's the problem. Because you need to enter and you don't have a, a, a time to go out. So <clears throat> it is more difficult when you are your own boss, okay? So in this case, as we have been uh, describing a lot of these different issues, this was the homework, right? This was the homework that I assigned. And for sure, as I told you yesterday, we are going to start today with a, a little new topic, but we have a little bit of writing practice. I, I moved the book, sorry, here. <clears throat> here on the book, I don't know if you can see it, if you have it there. We are going to work on this writing section, right? And here you have the example. This is basically the example that we saw yesterday, right? This is the example that we saw yesterday about Nicole. Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan que ayer hablamos de Nicole? Donde había trabajado, que había trabajado en bolsa de tal año a tal año, y que había hecho esto y esto, de tal año a tal año, en tal año hizo tal cosa. So, you are going to create something similar, but about you, right? Where did you study? In which year, right? Where did you work? For how long, right? And you are going to mention a little bit of your job history. But that has to be on writing. And for me to check it, I need you to write it right now on your notebook. And later on, you are going to send it to me on WhatsApp. So I can check it, I can review it, and I can correct, okay? So right now, you are going to write a seven-line paragraph, seven or more, about your work experience. Personal information, studies, experience, and other jobs. And it is important that you use time expressions, okay? A short paragraph about your work experience, similar to the one that we read about Nicole, but about you. So you're going to say, well, teacher Nati eh, started languages at National University in 2004. Uh, she started working in 2004 and she 
uh, work for different universities, blah, blah. So you are going to write a, a little paragraph about yourself, okay? No tienen que ir a googlear ninguna información porque la información es de ustedes. So a very, very short paragraph. If you want to do it on WhatsApp, de un solo, you can do it. If not, do it on paper and then you type it tomorrow or today later at night, okay? No, tomorrow morning, okay? Write down your paragraph, a little paragraph, seven lines about your work experience, right? Important to use time expressions. So you are going to use uh, from, since, from this year to this year, right? You are going to use time expressions. I am going to give you around 10 minutes to do it, okay? And if you have questions, you can ask, right? You can ask, but the idea is that you complete your paragraph. If you finish, please raise your hand on the platform so I know that you have finished writing, okay? Is it clear? Estamos claros? About what we are going to do right now? Yes, teacher, no teacher? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Is, a, is a word uh, homework or is right now? No, it's right now. We're going to do it right now. The homework will be to send it to me on WhatsApp for me to check it. Okay, la tarea va a ser que me lo envíen mm -hmm. a WhatsApp para que yo lo revise. Okay, but I need you to write it on WhatsApp. No vayan a tomar una foto a la página. It's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come okay. on. <laughs> So write it on WhatsApp so I can uh, check it there. But right now I need you to do it on your notebook or on a paper or in something, okay? So we are going to do it right now. That will be our writing exercise. Go ahead, seven to 10 line paragraph, a very short thing. Go ahead. If you have any question, I will be glad to help you.
Okay. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, big back. It's a. Uh, it's like a, a retroalimentation. Feedback. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I have a question in the chat. It's like, how do you say auxiliar de bodega? Warehouse assistant. Hello, Cesar, welcome. Right now we are writing a short paragraph about uh, the job profile and uh, for all the ones that are just connecting, we are writing a similar example to the one we studied on the book. I am sharing it here with everybody. So we are writing a similar example, but about you and your work experience. Okay, so you can work on that right now if you are connecting in this moment. For the rest, there are many cameras that I cannot see. Remember the camera, it's um, a requirement for the class, right? I cannot see Carlita, Cesar, Andrea, Blanquita, Ellen Nielsen. Juan Francisco, Aleida, and Magdiel. I cannot see your cameras. Es que teacher, estoy cenando. Disculpe, por eso pagué un momento la, la it's cámara. It's okay, it's okay. So, it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Yo igual acabo de venir, entonces estaba cenando. Don't worry, don't worry. No, but it's for you to keep it in mind, right? That as soon as you finish, you put it on, right? Because it's a requirement, right? Once they check the, the class, they are going to call that detail. Ahí siempre cuando ya revisen la clase, eh, me dicen, bueno, ¿qué pasó? Mire, tal y tal eh, participante no tiene la cámara y ahí ya les hablan y me dicen, mire, recuerde que tiene que tener su cámara encendida <risa> para evitar el, el mal momento. <risa> ok, good. So, eh, remember, this is what we are working right now from five to seven lines about your work experience. We are missing three minutes, people to finish. Teacher. Yep. In my case, I don't have electricity. So I hope my... Oh my God. <laughs> my, I hope my battery <clears throat> doesn't run out. Yeah. So hopefully we are going to have electricity soon. Right. Yeah. Pero, pero no le pasó que cuando no hay corriente no había cargado el teléfono. Sí, lo había cargado, pero ya, ya casi lo tengo a la mitad, entonces. Oh, my God. So, don't touch anything. Don't breathe next to it. Ni respira la parte. Por eso, por eso tengo it's la okay. cámara apagada. Porque it's si okay. no, los datos no me dan. No, it's okay. Any, anyway, what are we going to see? You in the darkness. <laughs> Igual si la okay. pone, vamos a ver a, a Ellen Nilsson en la oscuridad. Sí. <laughs> okay, good, good. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, Remember when you finish, raise your hand on the platform for me to know that you have finished working. Teacher, I am arriving to my home right now. Okay, Magdiel, eh, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es que estamos haciendo un perfil escrito de su historia laboral, así como el ejemplo que les di el día de ayer, de cinco a siete líneas about okay. your, your work history. That's what we are writing right now. Okay. Y you. cuando lo tengamos listo, 
ya sea hoy por la noche o mañana en la mañana, lo enviamos a WhatsApp escrito para que yo lo revise. Ok, teacher, thank you. That's what we are doing right now. Okay, remember to raise your hand on the platform when you finish, so I can see that you have finished your paragraph. Okay. Okay, in the meantime, I am going to call the attendance. Remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? I'm going to stop sharing just to see all your cameras and I can call the attendance. Okay, here I go. Raleida Esmeralda. Raleida is connecting with the audio still. Andrea Sofia. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present teacher. Cesar Amaya. Cesar. ¿Qué se me hizo Cesar? Lo acabo de ver ahí. Hasta lo saludé. Okay. Eh, Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. 
Hey, Horacio is not here today. Jose Luis Ramos. Here. Eh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Ahí estamos, Juan Francisco, pero no me oye. Carla, Carla Flores. Ay, teacher. Nelson Alberto. Present. Paola Elena. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander. It's right there, I can see. Rafael Antonio. I am here, teacher. Eh, Raúl Ernesto. Teacher. I have a problem with the connection. Yeah, I can see. I am here. Okay, very good. Eh, Wilber Alberto. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdiel Esau. Present, teacher. Okay. Good. Today, the one on the one, on one today was for Ellen, Ellen Nilsson, but Ellen Nilsson doesn't have electricity today. I hope so. Salvado por la campana. So I hope that you can get the electricity before the end of the class. If yeah. not, okay. if not, we're going to wait for Cesar to come back because yesterday I stayed with uh, Hernán and with Carlita, right? So we're going to see. And uh, if not, we are going to jump into Jose Luis, but just in, in the, the last case, but I will let you know Jose Luis, okay? So uh, I hope most of you have finished with the paragraph. If not, you can shape it out a little bit. Lo pueden como terminar, darle un poquito más de forma. Yo siempre les digo que cuando hacemos un ejercicio escrito, lo bueno es que si hacen como un pequeño draft, un borrador, lo dejen descansar y de ahí lo vuelvan a leer. Y de ahí en la segunda vez usted dice, mm, no, esta no me gusta, esto no suena, esto no va. So, my recommendation would be to set it up right now. Déjenlo así como lo han hecho ahorita. Then you read it later and you can send it to me tomorrow. Okay, or we can check it tomorrow in class. But the idea is that you read it, analyze, review, and then you send it to me, okay? So, but you have your first draft done. It is, uh, it is better. And you will, you will say, but ¿por qué me tuvo la teacher escribiendo en la clase? And it's like, it is good, si yo les digo que lo dejen hasta mañana, capaz se les olvida en todo el día, Y justo antes de la clase me lo hubieran escrito así, che, 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 una changoneta y me lo hubieran mandado. Hmm, sucede, no les estoy diciendo que ustedes lo hagan así, sucede. And it's good, now you have an idea. Ahora ya tienen una base, tienen una idea. So, when you have the idea, you read, review, analyze, and send. Okay. I have seen students doing the homework in the bus. Okay. Ahí los he visto que van en el bus enviando la tarea. <laughs> Don't teacher, Ay, que se vaya, que sea lo que Dios quiera. <laughs> I, I have heard about it, right? He oído de teachers que están hasta en los diplomados haciendo lo mismo. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens, right? It happens, right? Yeah. Yo a cada rato me meto a estudiar diplomados y digo, ¿qué estoy haciendo? ¿Por qué me meto? <laughs> And then, when I am uh, like up overload with homework, but yeah, I, I enjoy the adrenaline of the moment. Good. So now that you have your base, you can actually complete it and send it to me. Well, as I was telling you, today we are going to cover a new topic and it is uh, about everyday activities. You might think, and you might say like, hey, but this is a topic that I have studied before. Yes, but in many of the cases, this very simple topic, it's very complicated, right? It is very complicated to actually review it, to actually remember it, and to actually uh, put it into practice, right? Because, for example, if I will take out some, some pictures that I have here. I have some pictures here. Let me show them to you. 
what are the people on the pictures doing? What about him? What is he doing? He's washing. He's washing the clothes. What is the activity called? What is the verb for this activity? ¿Cuál sería el verbo para esta actividad? Wash. Wash, Wash. right? Wash. Wash. What about this one? What is he doing? He's sick. He is feeling sick, right? What would be the verb for this activity? Sick. Feel. Feel. Very mm -hmm. good. Feel. Feel. Uh. Feel is the verb because he feels sick. And what is he touching? What is he doing? He is touching his stomach. stomach. His stomach. Okay. He is not touching his stomach ache. Usted no se puede tocar el dolor de estómago. What is the, what is the name of this Esto, part? The stomach. The stomach. The stomach ache is the, the pain, right? The actual pain, right? He's like, ay, me voy a tocar el dolor de estómago. Ay. <laughs> no, right? Stomach ache. Stomach ache is dolor de estómago. Cake. Es, no, stomach ache. Ache, ache es el, ache. El, el dolor, right? Because you say back ache, stomach ache, toothache, right? Ache, headache. Ache, headache. Uh-huh. Earache. Headache. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Ache is the, the pain, right? What is she doing? What is she doing? Rain. Rain. She is not raining. The what day is raining. Uh -huh. It is raining, right? But Probably what she... she's what? holding the umbrella. She's holding the umbrella. Uh -huh. She's waiting for what? The cover from the rain. She's covering from the rain, but you call Sorry. it protect. She is protecting from the rain. Okay, she's protecting from the rain. She's holding the umbrella. And what do you think that she's doing on the street? She might be walking. walking. What else? The bus. Waiting for the bus. So the verbs that we have here are hold, cover, protect, wait, and walk. Right? Those are the verbs that we have. What is the man doing? Plant a, a flower. He's planting flowers. Hey, he looks like Rafael Alexander. Look. <laughs> he looks like Rafael. I love the plants. Yeah. yeah but right? they need the, sun, the glaze. Yeah, he needs the glasses, right? Okay, so here you have, this is, the man is planting flowers, right? What is the verbs that, what, sorry, what are the verbs that we can take from here? Plant. Plant, plant right? Planting, plant. planting, gardening, right? Gardening. What about them? What are they doing? Skate. Skate. Yeah. Skate, very good. The verb is skate. What about this one? Repair. Repair fix. or fix. 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 Very good job. Fix, right? Fix or repair. What about this one? Salis. <clears throat> what is the verb in 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 one person in individual? Sail. Sail, yeah. right? Sail. Sail. This is in singular, right? Sale. What about this one? Painting. Painting. What is the verb? Paint. 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 Very good. Paint. What about this one? Uh, play. 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 Right. Play. And let me see. What about this one? Swim. 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 Swim, right? Swim. 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 Swim, right? This looks like Jose Luis, you see? Very Swim. young. Or like to Raul Ernesto. Look. <laughs> Yo siempre les hayo parecido a mis alumnos. A la flashcard. Swim. What about this one? This looks like Paola, you see? What is she Shopping. doing? Bye. Shopping. Bye. A shop. Shopping. Shop. Shopping. Shop. And what is the verb? 
shop. 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 Right? Be Perfect. careful between shop and shop because shop is like when you go shopping, right? To the mall and everything. And shop is triturar con un cuchillo. Like Jeffrey Dahmer. So we have to be careful with this. Okay, shop. What about this one? Right. Right, oh, right, right. That is the verb. Right. Right what? Right. Ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle. Ride. What about yeah. this one? There you have the Michiro here. Feel. Feel. Very good. Feel. Right. Feel. That means alimentar. Feel. How do you spell feel? Feel. F E E N D. F E E D. Right. Feel. What about this one? Play the guitar. Play the guitar. You see, this looks like Nelson. <laughs> Look, the same smile. <laughs> Ojalá. Play Ojalá the guitar. Pudiera tocar la guitar. <laughs> yeah, de aquí, de aquí para el trío, eh. De aquí al trovador. Play the guitar. What about this one? Cook, 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 cook. cook right? The verb on this one is cook. 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 Right, the verb is cook. cook. And what about uh, this one? Dancing. Dance. Dancing Dance. or the verb is? Dance. Dance. Dance, Dance. Dance right? Who's the, who, who are the people in the picture? Who do you think they are? Carlita. Carlita and her boyfriend. <laughs> there you go. They are dancing there <laughs> because okay. it's the it's a curly one on the group, right? They are dancing. Okay. What about this one? Act. 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 Right. Act. This is the verb. Act. And what about this one? Play. Play. Very good. Play. And the last one. Sing. 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 Hey, this is me, right? Teacher Nati singing in English corporative. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Singing. I love karaoke, people. Yeah. Yeah. Nunca me inviten a un karaoke porque ni van a cantar. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that, right? If you invite me to a karaoke, make sure that you are not going to sing because I will be singing all the time. Okay, so those are activities, different activities that we do every day. Something important is that when we talk about activities in a third person, we make specific changes, right? We make a specific changes with the verbs because in he, she, and it, what do we do with the verb? ¿Qué sucede con el verbo en la tercera persona para actividades normales? Change and add the S. At you the change end. and add an S at the end, right? So in this one, for example, you are not going to say sing. You are going to say singer. Sing. No. Sing. <laughs> singer is sing. the person. Sing. Sings. Right? She sing. sings. In sing. this case, he, he play. plays. Plays. He acts. Actor. No, actor Act. is the person. Ok, eso es muy importante. No confundamos los nombres con los verbos. Right? The verb is the action that is happening. What is the, what is the man doing? He is dancing. But mm -hmm. if you want to express a normal activity, you say he dances. He dances every day. Ok, es algo que hace todos los días. He dances. She dances. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to show you the grammar in a moment. The doctor works, right? Works. Here we have, for example, the chef cooks. Cooks, cooks. right? The chef cooks. The mariachi guitar. Plays. 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 Plays, right? No podemos decir de mariachi guitar, right? Porque sería el mariachi guitarra. Uh -huh. All right. El mariachi toca la guitarra, toca la guitarra. right? Plays. El sobrenombre. <laughs> nickname. The nickname. Juanito 
feeds the dog, feeds. right? He feeds the dog. It's a new word for me. Feed. <coughs> feeds, yes. Juanita rides, rides the bike. The rides the bicycle. Uh, Paola shops. 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 Right? Every day. Every day. <laughs> Here we have, who was this one? Raul, right? Raul <laughs> swims. 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 Let's see. Uh, here we have Horacio. Skis. Skits. 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 Here we are going to have yeah, Blanquita. Plays Play the, the piano. Plays the piano. Plays the piano. Okay, here we have Pepe. Pepe paints, paints the house. Pepe el toro. Yeah, you see, the, 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 look at the shirt. Pepe el toro, eh? Anda de rayadito. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe paints the house. Okay, here, she... Sales. Sales. Sales flowers. flowers. Okay, flowers. here, teacher Nati. Fixes. 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 Try to fix. Yeah, I, I do it, <laughs> believe me. Believe me, yeah. Allá cuando llegan a la oficina. Excelente. Miss, se me arruinó el proyector. I go and fix it. <laughs> I, I am the fix it all. Let's see another one. Ah, this one. Rafael Alexander. Plants. 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 Flowers. <laughs> Plants. Flowers. Plants. Flowers. Plants. Flowers. Here. Jasmine. Que nunca le hemos visto Protects. porque está en la parada de bus. Protects from protects. the rain, right? She protects okay. from the rain. And the last one here, Hernan. And watching. Watch. 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 Hernan. Watch. Eh, okay, si decimos Watch. Hernan watching the clothes, Hernan lavando la ropa. Right? Washes. 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 Hernan Watches. lava la ropa, right? Washes. Washes. Watches. And you Watches. have to be very careful with I I think you were one you were the ones sending a meme this morning with through through throughout eh, in the group in the morning. No sé si lo vieron. Alguien yeah, mandó un meme it, de. It, it was funny. Ah, yeah. yeah. Alguien mandó un meme de. I, I no think es complicado. it was Wilber. Yeah, <laughs> that it was through through throughout, throw thought thought tough. <laughs> it it is complicated. So if you say watch, wash. You have to be very careful, right? Yes. Watch is to watch, right? With T, watch. And wash is to Dilemma. clean, right? Wash. Clean. With wash. Okay. So those are basically everyday activities. And those are the changes that you have at the moment of using them in simple present. So I am going to jump out up to here. And this is something that changes only for he, she, and it, okay? And that is the most complicated because it's when you talk about a different person, right? So you say, I work, do I work, I don't work. Or you say, you work, do you work, you don't work. But you say, he works, does he work, he doesn't work. And when you use the auxiliary does, you don't change the verb, okay? That's a very common mistake. When you say, he doesn't works, that's a very common mistake. He doesn't cooks, you say. It's a very common thing. Yo creo que en mis 19 años de docencia lo he oído no sé cuántas veces ya. He's like, no, she doesn't, she doesn't run, teacher. No, she doesn't run, she doesn't cook. Right? If you have the auxiliary does, the verb is normal. The only change that you have is in simple sentences, in affirmative, okay? That's the only change that you are going to have. And for everyday normal activities, okay? Because if the activity is in, it's happening at the moment, it's present continuous. Si la actividad ya se acabó, past tense. Si la actividad va a ser en el futuro, so future, but if the activity is normal, everyday activity, simple present, okay? So we need to keep this in mind. And 
they don't change that much, right? They don't change that much, but you add the S or the ES to the verb. For most of the verbs, you only add S, right? But there are specific cases for the verbs in CH, S, SH, X, or Z, you put ES. If the verb ends in Y, si termina en Y, you change the Y and add IES. Pero si es Y y vocal anterior, only the S. And you have irregular forms of the verb, do, does, go, go, go goes, be. The verb be has am, is, and are. It has three forms. Have and has, okay? So this is the change that you are going to have in the different verbs. Right? You have to be very careful at the moment of transforming the verbs because uh, you might get confused, right? And forget a letter. It is a little bit of grammatic, right? A little bit of grammar, grammatic part of the class, but it is necessary for us to refresh a little bit on the grammar rules of the simple present. I have here a little exercise and I need you to analyze it and tell me what is wrong with the exercise. What is the problem with it? Read the sentences, analyze them. What is the problem with the sentence? The verb. In the first sentence, the yes. auxiliary. Does. Does. The auxiliary is the problem. Okay. Does. And the verb is not correct. Why? Number two in the second line. In the second one? Yes. I like. Uh -huh. I like. Like, no like. Uh -huh. I like it, pizza. I it's like not. it or eating, it's, it's correct. What about the next one? It does. She, she does. She does because it's it does. her person. <clears throat> she does her homework. Good. Okay, she does her homework. Finishes. Finishes. Finish. Uh huh. My friends go. My friends go. go. Very good because you don't use goes with plurals. Carries. Carries. What is the problem here? With the G. With the G? Why? It's not Y. Now with the I Y. Know. It's I. I. E. S. E -S. Yes. Okay, good. What about Nicole Kidman? Acts. 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 At S. We play. We play. Very good. Talks. Okay, so here you have talks very clearly. So you see, it's good that you are good at spotting mistakes, right? Most of them were very clear, right? I have them here. Corrected, right? Carries, acts, talks, we play, right? Those were the mistakes on the paragraph. And as you can see here, I have a little example of the simple present statements, right? Let me just move it up a little bit. And here you have, can you help me to read the first sentences? Uh, let me see, Jose Luis, this part. The first, I walk to school. This one's. Oh. Yes. I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. She works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Twenties. Public transportation. Transportation. I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. 
we live with our parents and they use public transportation. Very good. What about the negatives? Cesar, can you help me to read them? I... Yeah, I don't live. Ah, you turn off the microphone. I don't live. You don't live. No, 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 but so... complete the sentence. I don't live far from here. I don't live. Must know. Okay, I don't live far from here. You don't like uh, near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't lie uh, alone. They don't need a car. Okay. <clears throat> it says, I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone and they don't need a car, okay? Very good. So as you can see, the only change that we have is with negatives, he, she, and it, you use does, right? Does. For the other ones, you use don't. And the sent in the sentences, the verb changes for he, she, and it, that you put an S. So as you can see here on the little uh, writing port that we have, I have an example here and it says, I, you, we, and they eat or use the cell phone every day. He, she, or it eats or uses the cell phone every day. So you make the change for he, she, and it in the verb. It is not really complicated, but I really wanted you to go and review it, right? Quería que de veras no fuéramos y lo repasáramos un poquito. So here, I am going to give you some minutes for you to do this one. I need you to choose the best option on your notebook. Go ahead. Read the sentences, choose the best option on your notebook. And in a moment, I am going to ask you for the answers. I guess. Yes. Oh, I guess. Yes. I guess. Okay, good. Let's see. Here. Okay, let me just get a pen. Good. My family and I live in the suburbs. Oh, first of all, do you know all the words and the vocabulary in the paragraph? ¿Saben todas las palabras del vocabulario? Or do you have any question about it? Maybe downtown? Downtown, el centro de la ciudad. Okay, thank you. Downtown. Okay, you say thank you. Very good. My family and I live in the suburbs, right? No suburbios. My wife and I work or works? Work. 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 Why, people? 
because it's us. Because, we. Us. Uh, because we. it's us. It's we, right? Work. It's plural. Near yeah. here. So we walk. walk. We walk, walk to work. Our daughter Emily works. 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 Why? Works. Because, because it's, it's singular. singular. It's singular. Yes. She, right? Our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives, drives, to, drives. To, work. drives to work. Our son doesn't, doesn't. doesn't. doesn't, doesn't drive. drive. So he rides his bike to school. He rides his bike to school, right? He rides his bike to school. My parents my parents live live live, live. Mm. my parents live. live don't say parents live. okay my parents live <laughs> it's plural plural my papas right my parents live in the city they my mother takes takes, takes takes a train to work my father is retired so he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work, work now doesn't work now he also he uses, uses public uses, transportation. Uses public transportation. So they don't, don't need a car. Don't need a car. So they don't need a car. Very good job. Right? You did a very excellent job on completing the exercise. Remember, plurals don't change the form. And he, she, and it take the form of the verb with the S in it. To make it negative, we were saying that we use don't and doesn't. <clears throat> doesn't. It says, I don't like cheese. He doesn't like cheese. Maybe he's not from El Salvador, right? Because here in El Salvador, you have cheese everywhere. Aquí hay queso hasta en el queso. <laughs> you put cheese on the cheese, right? Si no, la prueba fehaciente son las pizzas. La pizza de queso con queso. <laughs> So you say, I don't like cheese. You don't like cheese. We don't like cheese. With all of these, you use don't. And with he, she, and it, you use doesn't. Tell me something that you don't like, but tell it to me in third person. I can say that Natalie doesn't like the pacayas. Nah. Tell me something that you don't like in third person. I was thinking about it. Really? Delicious. Who said delicious? Uh, yes, Rafael, uh, you like the pacayas? Pacaya. Really? Yes, I like pacayas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like the, the, the taste. Uh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> the yes. sour, sour taste. Salad, yeah. salad, lemon, tomato, or with yeah, lemon, yeah. with lemon, oh. lemon, lemon. Okay, oh. so I I have to give them a try, but I don't really like them. Yeah. No, I don't no. like the remolachas. You don't like the beet. 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 That's the name. Beet. Okay. Beet. What is something that you don't like, people? Eric, what is something that Eric doesn't like? He doesn't. The... Uh huh. Beet. The vegetable. Beet. The vegetables in general. Uh, onion and ¿cómo le llaman? chile dulce. Green pepper. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. And whiskey. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so 70% of the Salvadorian <laughs> vegetables, you don't like it, right? Aquí, los frijoles llevan cebolla. Todo lleva cebolla. Everything. I mean, everything. You put onion in everything. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, but it also, you <laughs> like... You like the taste? Uh -huh. Pacaya is good with eggs. Okay. The taste of tastes and tastes. Egg wrap and pacaya. Okay. Egg wrap pacaya. That's good. Cubierta envuelta en huevo. Good. Yeah. I respect <laughs> your opinion. I hate pacaya. Yeah, and also, and also, uh, sorry for all of you, but I, I hate uh, pata soup. 
Sorry. <laughs> no, so teacher, no, teacher, that's not you? true. You are not Salvadorian <laughs> people. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> no. I don't like a flor de isote uh, neither. Uh, no, 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 no. Pacaya, neither. But no. Flor de isote, flor de isote is our national flower people. Yes, don't I eat, know. don't eat the symbol of patriot people. Mm. You know, I was seeing. That's why we eat it. It is funny that I was in I was in Arkansas for the scholarship, and in Arkansas there are a lot of isote flowers on the street, and they they are there like the big flowers. And I said like, "Hey, mi país, ya se las hubieran comido." <laughs> mm. Pero y, y, en en las calles de Arkansas están así como en los jardines, tienen como las grandes flores de isote. And I was like, "Ya se las hubieran comido en mi país." <laughs> Hasta se marchitan ahí, mueren. And I, and I told my, my friends, right? Le conté a todos mis, mis amigos y les digo, en mi país solo nace y ch, la cortan y se la llevan. Pero allá eran montones así en las calles. And I was like, mm. la voy a exportar al Salvador. De... Ok, so, eh, you don't like the flor de isote. I don't like the pata soup, people. Sorry. I remember one day I went to a Sweet 15 party. Era como una fiesta así chiquita de 15 años. And they gave pata soup for lunch. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and they say like, Lilik, que no sé qué, bienvenida, como. And I was like, <laughs> it was so painful. <laughs> and no, I can't. I don't know the flavor. I, I don't know. I don't like it. What is something that you don't like that many people like? Algo que a ustedes no le gustan, que a mucha gente le gusta. That's my example. The, the like eggplant. The, the eggplant. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. like. But I, I always confuse with the cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I'm eating. So, uh, so but, but that's, not, that's not eggplant then. That, that might be zucchini. Zucchinis ah, and cucumbers yeah. are very similar. Yeah. You are like, me mintieron. <laughs> I confused. <laughs> what is something else that you don't like, but many people like? I don't like the coconut. Uh, the coconut, it's the true. Coconut. <laughs> it's no, true. No, I I, like. You told me that in the first class, I remember. And I say, how do you survive in El Mahawal? I told you. You don't like the smell? Or the, the smell flavor. or the flavor? Teacher, I I I don't know, like aubergines. You don't like the what? Berenjens. Ber ah, ber ber no, that is ber eggplant. 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 No, I only me the berenjens. Nothing. No, the the name is not berenjens. It's eggplant. Eggplant. Ah, okay. Eggplant. Ahí lo manda el chat. Ya le estamos cambiando nombre a la verdad. The eggplant, the eggplant. Sure. So, uh -huh. Magdiel. Do you like crabs? No. <laughs> Sorry, yo venía con Why defecto de you... fábrica. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I cannot, I cannot stand to see the animal looking at me. It's like. The question is, me. what do you like? <laughs> Only chicken soup. <laughs> you see, um, I don't know, but many people, for example, eat the, the snails, los caracoles, or the shells, and they are still moving, and they eat them. I, and I'm like, no, that thing is alive. When Don't you eat. put lemon, lemon, when you put lemon, he moves. And they are like, they move. ah, no me comas. <laughs> Todavía pelea por su vida porque se lo come. And the... Or eggs, turtle teacher. Yeah, I, don't I mean, no. I mean, no. They are in, 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 in danger of extinction. People don't eat those things. Teacher. Yeah. Do you like consomme de garro? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like it. It's like, no. What no. about the rabbit? <laughs> you know, I have taste. And the I frog? Have... Uh, no, no, I went to Sonsonate one day. No, I, I couldn't. I couldn't eat it. They told me that it was chicken. They told me, this is chicken, this is chicken, and I ate it. 
And later I knew that it was frog. And I was like, hey, you are so mean. The same thing happened with garrobo and rabbit. That they say, no, comete, lo que no sé qué. And they gave me like a little taco with the meat. And I said, ah, it's good. And it was good. But it's another, it was another thing, right? Poor... I, I saw most my uncle prepare it. He was like, he used a martillo. A hammer. Yeah, he used a hammer and pow, pow. <laughs> and so she cried as a baby. That's, oh my that's god yes. <laughs> so you see i know <laughs> it's like you no know, people <laughs> yeah i i don't like i don't really like seafood because of that uh, yeah it's like no todas esas cosas del, del mar el pulpo el calamar todo eso por lado <laughs> nah. and many people say that they are very delicious that this and that yeah yo soy ese espécimen que solo come pesca yeah, I am like like the strange one. Okay, give me another example of something that you don't like that many people like. I don't like, what do you say, pescado forrado? Ah, cover fish. Cover fish, I don't like. <laughs> another one, yeah. No, 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 soy ni salvadoreña, mala católica. <laughs> Sorry. In my case, I don't like drink milk. You don't I like do, no, nah, I think <laughs> <laughs> okay. but what about well, but with the milk it, there is a problem, right? But maybe if you are lactose intolerant, yes, right? But if you just don't like it, it's like that. No, I don't like it because when I was a child, my parents uh my tried parents to, my parent, parents my parents try try to 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 I you ate uh, with with food and the and the glass of water and I don't I don't I don't I didn't I didn't I didn't uh, combine <laughs> both so <laughs> so they they put a glass of water and a glass of milk yeah my god yeah so <laughs> in that case you say when I was a child, my parents tried to force me uh, to, to force drink okay. milk with the food. Yeah, because imagine you eating a spaghetti with milk. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see, and I can see always the 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 color of the of the milk. For example, <laughs> if I see a glass of of milk uh, white. Uh, I need to 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 put uh, chocolate <laughs> because okay. I don't like see the the the, the, color. the white uh, the white yeah. color. <laughs> yeah, that's an excuse. It's like I know. Esto necesito esto necesito un choco panda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Teacher, uh, yes. But have you ever tried milk with tortillas? Yes, that that is a very Salva that's the Salvadorian cornflakes. Yeah, yeah. that's Cheap Salvadorian cornflakes. Yeah. What? Milk with, yeah. with, with tortilla? <laughs> yeah, with tortilla. I, I mean, I mean you, you cut out... I, I heard that. You cut out the tortillas, you can toast them, or you can have them natural, and you can just, like, mix them up. You can cut the pieces and you put the milk. In uh, Santa Ana, for example, they put sugar. And in San Salvador, and in other parts of the El Salvador they put salt but they eat oh. it like like if you are eating cornflakes like okay. cornflakes no me and, paga un centavo por este comercial in some places of Santa Ana too yes I they ate pupusas with, with ketchup ah yeah in San Miguel yeah it's very delicious ah. is anybody here from San Miguel no teacher yes I don't like it uh, the the cauliflower. I don't know how do you say cauliflower. Cau no, cauliflower. cauliflower. Oh, cauliflower. Look, the rellenos cauliflower of the cauliflower. I don't like. Stuffed cauliflower. Mm -mm. No. So cauliflower. Okay, thank you. So that is something that you don't like. You know. And pacaya. <laughs> pacaya <laughs> also. You are no, going okay. to hate me for this, but I don't no, like. Okay. I don't like ice cream. 
Teacher, oh. I don't... I don't know, like, carao. Really? You are not... Carao. <laughs> you know, it's because every time I I have an ice cream in my hands, it melts. You smell very disgusting. <laughs> uh, and, and it melts very, very fast. O sea, solo lo agarro, solo lo agarro, y el ratito está derretido. And it's like, come on. So, and it happens. And maybe many people have the same ice cream, all hard. But I don't know. It's like, yeah. I hate melted ice cream, right? El, el, el it will sorbete. be for your humor. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and my hands are very cold. It's like very crazy. It's like, yo lo derrito. <laughs> Sorry for him, I said. I still. So, but I don't like ice cream. I don't really like it. So, those are the different uh, ways to express likes and dislikes. You see, you were using a very simple sentences for you to express that things you don't like, things that you like, right? I don't like or she doesn't like, right? And it was a very easy exercise. So, in this one, uh, we're going to practice a little bit of the specific uh, irregular forms of the verb have, go, and I think have and go. It, th those are the only two that I have here. And we're going to use the specific forms. It says, my parents have a house in the suburbs. Have is for the plural forms. Has is for he, she, and it. Okay? And what means Suburbs. The suburbs. En los suburbios, en las, en las afueras de la ciudad. So, my parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad. Go. 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 Very go. good. My mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy. Don't say busy, okay? Busy. So, I. I, I do. I do a lot of work at home. Uh -huh. My brother doesn't live with us. He has, 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 an, apartment has in the city. an apartment in the city. He goes to school all day. He goes to school all day and he does, does, does of his work, work at night. At night. No. I, I have, have, a, new I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We Go, go, to go to the same school. To the same school, and sometimes we do we do our homework together. together, right? We do oh, our homework home. together. So this is a good way for you to practice, right? He, uh, in the case of go and have, that are the, the irregular forms of this type of verb, because they change, right? You don't say haves for he, she, or it, right? Lo he visto. Don't worry. You don't, you don't say that, but you use has, right? The form of has at the moment of using the third person. And for go, you don't say goes, you say goes, right? Goes. And here I have a little example of verbs. I took Alejandro as an example, right? I just grab a name here. Right, you say eats, drives, arrives, and I have many different verbs that we use with everyday things, right? And in here, I have everyday. I need you to create one sentence with one verb using the name here, Alejandro. Or you can use any name from the class, Jose Luis, Teacher Nati, Paola, etc. And you create one sentence with one of the verbs here and the word every day. For example, I can say Alejandro dances every day. Give me an example. Invent one, just adding. Alejandro writes a letter to his to his girlfriend every day. Alejandro writes a letter to his girlfriend every day. Very good. Another one. Alejandro, Alejandro brushes his teeth every day. Brushes his teeth. Very good. Another one. Alejandro <coughs> every 
day. Alejandro, sorry, yes. Erna. Works every day. Works every day. Very good job. Another one. Alejandro, Alejandro listens to music every day. Listens to music <clears throat> every day. Good. Alejandro takes a shower every day. Takes a shower every day. Another one. Alejandro changes the clothes every day. Changes the clothes every day. Very good. Alejandro wakes up early every day. Wakes up early. Very good. Another one. Alejandro arrives home every day. Arrives home every day. Excellent. Another one. Alejandro goes to the gym every day. Alejandro goes to the gym. Good. Alejandro speaks English every day. He speaks English. Very good. Alejandro sleeps every day. He sleeps every day. Uh -huh. Any other one? Alejandro checks his social media every day. Alejandro checks his social media every day. Alejandro listens to music every day. Listens to music. Very good. Another one? Alejandro changes the restroom every day. <laughs> Alejandro, eh, let's see. Change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uses, uses the restroom, right? Uses the uh, restroom. Who's okay. right? Yeah. Alejandro <laughs> watches TV every day. He watches TV every day. Very good. Alejandro uses the phone every day. He uses the phone every day. Very good. Another one. Alejandro writes the letters on weekends. Writes the letters on weekends, right? He writes letters on weekends. Alejandro cooks every day. He cooks every day. So you see, these are examples about Alejandro. I need you please to think about you and write three sentences with your name in third person singular. I am going to say, for example, here, let me just add a new slide and I am going to write an example here. I am going to write one about me. And I say, Nati teaches, teaches English every night. Okay, I have one. The other one, Nati works every day. And Nati cooks breakfast at 5 a.m. Okay, those are my three sentences, right? These are my three examples about me, right? These are my three examples about me, right? And I am going to share them with you here. And I need you to write three examples about you. Three things that you do every single day. Remember to use the verb in third person because you are using your name in third person. Aquí estoy hablando de Nati, vea, como que la Nati fuera otra persona. Create your three sentences, please. And I need the sentences on the chat so we can check them together on the chat here. I send you one example. Lo siento, nadie va a oír qué pasó. Ah, in the middle of the gossip. No. Lo hubiera dejado para que nos diéramos cuenta. <ríe> Como que es Marimar el buena. No.
It's for a homework, you will say. The information is for a homework. Yeah. Okay, I have sentences on the chat. Very good. Letters. Letters is with E. Letters, no ladders. A lady that calls her parents every weekend, right? Every weekend. Son dos palabras separadas. Joseph, uh, Joseph wakes up early every day. Rafael takes a shower every morning. A lady that cleans the house every day. Cesar eats kitchen. Chicken. Chicken. Thank you. Kitchen is la cocina. Sí. Cesar eats chicken. <laughs> In the, uh, on Sunday, you say on Sunday. Cesar plays the guitar. Plays to the guitar? No. Cesar plays the guitar in the church. Carlos cooks every day. Jose works all the week. Uses his cell phone a lot. Rafael exercises every morning. Wilbur wakes up late every day. Wilbur brushes his teeth every day. He cleans up the desk every day. A lady that walks with her dog. Good. Good sentences, people. Very nice. Nelson gets up at 8 a.m. every day. Nelson reads different books every night. Different books, because different is plural, right? Nelson plays in the cell phone every night. Okay. Rafael drives every day, very good. Paola wakes up at 4 a.m. every day. Ellen Nelson starts to work tomorrow at night. <clears throat> okay. This is a curious sentence, Ellen Nielsen, because you say, Ellen Nielsen starts to work tomorrow at night. So you have simple present and future at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, The yeah. sentence here will be, Ellen Nielsen starts, starts working, work. or no. <clears throat> starts working tomorrow night. Yeah. That will be the correct sentence. But if you say, Ellen Nielsen works every night, yes, that's correct. Okay. Wakes up at four, feeds his cat every day. Sofia works every day. Raul wakes up early every day. Raul rides his bicycle every Thursday. 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 Raul watches movies every night. Good. Excellent. Ah, Sofia walks from Galería Su Salvador del Mundo. Oh my God. Ahí me pasa diciendo hola ahí. <laughs> Sofia walks from Galería Su Salvador del Mundo. Well, it's a long walk from there. Carlos sets the alarm every night. Rafael cooks at night. Really? Rafael Antonio, do you cook at night? Hernán runs to work every day. Really? My God. Sofia plays video games. Magdiel watches the computer every night. Very good job. Lo siento, mis vecinos es primera vez que tienen moto. <laughs> so, uh, no sé si oyeron el gran ruido, pero ya. Yeah. So, Rafael... No, Oh, thank God. Thank you. What a good microphone I have. Because he was like, rah, 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 outside my house. Rafael plays soccer. Well, so very good sentences. The ones that you sent me, my dear class. Let's go back to the exercises. Here, in this exercise that I have here, the one that we are going to work next, I'm going to keep reading the other ones. Don't worry. Let me just move it. How would you transform these ones into third person sentences? Eric drives a motorcycle. Uh, no, 
Eric, Eric drives his motorcycle. Eric finds money in the street. <gasps> really? What a lucky person. Yo nunca hayo nada. Eric cooks only once a week. On the week, you say, on the week. Good. How would you transform these sentences that I have here on the screen into third person uh, sentences? I clean my bedroom every night. ¿Cómo lo haríamos she en tercera persona? She uh -huh. cleans her bedroom. His bedroom every night. Ajá. Uh -huh. If you say he cleans his. If you say she cleans her. Her. Okay. Depending. If it's, if it's yeah, a lady, yeah, yeah. her. I say it, he. <laughs> okay. If you say he, it's his. That's okay. The next one. I organize my house. She organizes her house. Uh -huh. She organizes. Organize. Very good. She organizes, organizes. Uh -huh. her house. Her house. The next one. I study my class. She studies. He studies. He studies. He studies his class. Right. He studies his class. What about the next one? I do homework at night. He does, he does her he homework does at night. She does her homework at night, right? She does her homework at night. Very good. The next one. I wash my clothes. She, wa she my wash my sister washes my clothes. <laughs> my sister washes my clothes. Teacher. Yes. Who's the name of his... <clears throat> Lomito. <laughs> uh, my dog. Yeah. Ah, Kiara. It's because she loves attention. Ah, she. <laughs> it's a she. You see, she loves attention. And she comes <laughs> to fight with me when I am not paying attention to her. <laughs> there you go. Say hello to the class. Hello, class. How are you? <laughs> she speaks English as well. There you go. Very there well. Go. There you go. Yeah, and, and she's next to me during the whole class. Ella está la par mía durante toda la clase. Pero llega un momento que cuando no le estoy haciendo caso, me exige atención. She's, she's very crazy, right? I think she knows English. She has been in every single class during all my teaching. So I think she knows English. Sorry for the inconvenience of this. <clears throat> yeah. Ella se viene a meter aquí a la casa. I always say that she bothers more than my son. Mejor ella me interrumpe y no mi hijo. <laughs> okay, so it says, uh, my sister washes my clothes, Nelson. Uh -huh. Que le cobre a diez la docena. <laughs> que fuera de verdad. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. ella, por favor, que pase la hermana <laughs> a la cama. <laughs> I read every morning. She reads every morning. She reads every morning. Good. She reads every morning. What about I eat lunch at home? She eats lunch. She eats lunch at home, right? She eats lunch at home. And the last one, I watch TV. She watches she watches TV, right? She watches TV. She washes, no, right? Porque no va a lavar la tele. She washes TV. She washes TV. And I will do this one with you. Okay. Tell me for you, true or false? How would you make the first question? ¿Cómo harían la primera pregunta? Number one, how would you make the first question? Do you? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live or do you live? Live. Uh -huh. Do you live in the city? Yes, I do. Right? That's the answer. Do you live in the city, people? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The next question. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Not yet. No yet, right? I have an Uber here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my have a <laughs> you have a motorcycle. That's nice because yes. you don't you don't have to worry with traffic, right? You just move around. 
Yes. The next question. Tener cuidado. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. I don't know. Do you live in an apartment, people? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. I live in a house. Complicated. <laughs> it's a house, but it's a small. It looks like an apartment, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. But it's it, called it, an apartment. It's called apartment, but it's not an apartment, but it's a house, but it's not a house. So look like an apartment. It's it an is office. like an apartment. It's an office, right? Yeah. It was funny that Nelson says, Yo tengo una motocicleta. And then a lady does, le dijo a alguien, Tene cuidado. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, inconscientemente. She's taking care of you. The next one. What is question number four? Do you live with your, live par with your parents? Parents. Parents. No, parents. 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 Con el live, live en, pa en parents. Así. Voy a sacar los métodos ortodoxos de la regla. Okay. Parents. Parents. Do you do you live with your parents, people? No, I don't. Yes, no, I, I don't. don't. Yes, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't, right? Yes, I do, you say. And it's funny when you say, like, cuando no viva con mis papás, yo voy a hacer lo que quiera. You don't mm -hmm. do anything. <laughs> you, never, you never do anything. No? Sad. I always said, I am going to go out, I am going to go to the disco, I am going to dance. <laughs> Pregúntame cuántas veces he... Never. <laughs> so... <laughs> The weekend it, is for wash the, the clothes <laughs> and clean yeah. the, the kitchen. For, for me, it's for working. <laughs> Salía más cuando no me dejaban salir. <laughs> Definitely. The next one. I do my homework at school. Do you do the homework? Do you do, do the you homework work? at school? No, I don't. The next one. Number six. Do you do your homework alone? Do you do your homework alone? Yes. yes. No Google in the homework, okay? Number huh. seven. You write, you ride you your ride bike, bike to you school. Ride school? The... Do you ride your bike? No, your bike. no, my bike, right? Do you, you ride, ride your bike, bike to, school? to school? The next one. Do you have sisters? sisters. Do you have sisters? Yes, I do. Do you have sisters, people? Yes, I do. 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 Right. Right. Dónde están las blusas. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> the next one. Do you have? Do you have brothers? You have brothers? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. One. Um, do you have brothers? Yes, I do. No, I don't have. Yes, I brothers? No. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, half brother and, and a brother. Half brother oh, yeah. and a brother. Okay. Who has more siblings in the group? ¿Quién tiene más hermanos en el grupo? Who has more siblings in the group? I only have two. Three. I have three. You have two. Three, two. I have four. Four. Uh -huh. Four. Four sisters. Four sisters. Four sisters and two brothers. Brother. Okay, two. Four sisters and two brothers. Two brothers. Rafael, how many do you have? No, two two brothers and two sisters. Ah, two brothers and two sisters. Uh -huh. yes. uh, okay, the maximum four. Nadie tiene cinco? No? ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Uh -huh. So, Nelson, you have four sisters. Yes. And you? Yes. That's why you are very organized. <laughs> Por eso bien ordenado. <laughs> yeah, because he was like the, the, the only one. He was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Es so free. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Usted no me está preguntando, teacher. Pero, <laughs> <laughs> pero esas mujeres me pegaban, me maltrataban. Es correcto. Me no Tristemente. La, la, la and, right, and right now, be, and in front of him, it's like, me tenían de esperancito. <laughs> For you, come on. For you. Do you do you work downtown, people? In the center of the city? Do you work downtown? 
Yes, I do. No, I don't, no, I don't teacher. No, I don't, you see, okay? You don't work out uh, downtown the city. No, I work near Salvador del Mundo. Yes, in the Olympica. Downtown in my house. Downtown in my house, good. So, uh, along with the simple present, as you can see, we have had a lot of sentences with different prepositions of time that you say, I wake up in the morning, I cook in the afternoon, I cook at night, right? I wake up early, right? You have different prepositions of time or different time expressions that you also use with these type of sentences. For example, here I have early, late, every day. And then you have at night, at noon, at nine, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays. What is the difference between early, late, and every day with the other time expressions? What is the difference? In and um, on. Uh -huh. In, on, at. They don't use. You don't say in early. You don't say at early. You don't say on early. At late, on late, in late, no. In every day, at every day, on every day, no, right? Early, late, and every day don't use any preposition before, right? They are just used alone. At is with a specific times, a specific moments of the day. In is with the different stages, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But you say at night. You don't say in night, okay? And on is for the days of the week or a specific breaks on the days, right? On weekend, on weekdays, right? This, uh, for sure, I know that this, you might have studied before, right? Esto quizá ya lo hayan visto antes. But uh, uh, this is very useful, right? With precise time, you use at. In, you use it with months, years, decades, centuries, and seasons. And on, you use it with days and dates, right? I need you to read the examples that you have there. Maybe you have seen this before. Yo creo que esto ya lo han visto antes, pero siempre es bueno recordarlo. So you don't mix it, right? At three o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset. Do you know what is the meaning of sunrise and sunset? ¿Qué significa sunrise? sunrise in the beginning. Uh -huh. The sun rise. Yeah. The sun yeah. rise. And the sun sets. Yeah. yeah. When it's hiding. Yeah. Sunrise, amanecer, sunset, atardecer. Okay. Bedtime is almost in 10 minutes, right? Bedtime, when you go to bed. Dinner time when you eat dinner, right? For months, years, decade, decades, centuries, and seasons, you use in, in May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990, in the 1990s, in the next century, in the past, right? And on for days and dates. Can you help me to read the examples? On Sunday, on Tuesdays, on six months. On 25 December. On 25 December. On 2010. On Christmas Day. On Independence Day. On my birthday. On New Year's Eve. Okay. Very good. Thank you. For the British English, it's very common to say on 6 March. In American English, you say on March 6, right? That is something curious about the two languages, right? It's the same language, but the different accent, right? British and 
American. On 6 March, this is a British example, but in English is, in American English is on March 6, okay? So these are some of the prepositions of time and the sentences that you use at the moment of creating sentences with simple present, right? Let me see. We're going to finish the day with a little conversation. And here we go. It says, uh, I am going to do it with Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo, you are going to be Jack and I am Amy. Go ahead. Oh, okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. <laughs> Oh, that, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They save breakfast all day. Dennis, <laughs> they serve <laughs> breakfast all day. Thank you, Carlos. Very good job. Raul and Nelson, go ahead. I am Jack. You are Jack. <laughs> Jack. Okay. Jack. <laughs> let's Jack. go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on uh, weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Um, Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet uh, at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good job. Thank you very much. Very good, very good, very good. Let's see, Andrea, Sofia, and Hernan. Go ahead. Jack, there is a boat. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekends. What time do you get on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, we're going to pause for a moment because I'm going to call the attendance. Okay, before I do the last practice. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, Aleida. Present teacher. Andrea Sofia. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. ¿Qué pasa? Blanquita is right there, don't worry. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Here. César Amaya. Ok, César, nos vamos a quedar un ratito al final de la clase, ok? Ok. Ok, good. Se va a quedar con la teacher. Ja, regañado. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ellen Nielsen. Girls in the darkness. Present. Yeah. <laughs> Eric José. Present. Eh, Hazel Elizabeth, que nunca vino. Hernán Antonio. Horacio José. No vino. Eh, José Luis Ramos. Ah, pues yo sí. Eh, Juan Francisco. No, no, a mí no me llega. Juan Francisco. Ok, ok, ok. Estoy aquí, ok. Ya les quité el chambre a todos. Nad nad nadie se va a quedar oyendo. <risa> Let's see. I will continue. Sorry. Eh, Juan Francisco. Eh, Carla Guadalupe. Nelson. Hi, teacher. Alberto. Thank you. Here, teacher. Paola Elena. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Raúl. Here. Thank you. Well, thank you, Blanquita. Eh, Wilber Alberto. 
Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdiel. Good, I just missed two today. Very good. So you say, I am here, teacher. Present, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry. Okay, let's finish with the conversation. Boys, all of you are Jack and the ladies. We are going to be Amy. Okay. <clears throat> let's go. Boys, you are Jack and the ladies, you are Amy. Okay. Boys, go ahead. Let's go to the park on Sunday. On Sunday. Ladies. Okay. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep. I sleep late on late weekends. On weekends. Good. Wait, wait. Hey, Paola, ¿qué pasó? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. wait. Cut. wait, wait. Cut. Me está. Es que mi perrita también está pidiendo atención. Póngala ahí chinela, no tenga pena. Okay. No. <laughs> yes, cut the Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Carlita, no. Aleida, Blanca, and, eh, and Paola and me. Okay. One, two, three. Boys, go ahead. <clears throat> Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ladies. Okay. okay. Let's, Let's go, go in the afternoon. afternoon. I, I sleep late, late on weekends. Late weekend. on weekends. What, what time, time do you get up on Sunday? Sunday? At, at 10 o'clock. Oh, that's oh, that's 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 uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. <laughs> okay, we're going to be Jack. Boys, you are Amy. <laughs> okay. okay. But you are Amy. <clears throat> Ladies, you are Jack. Okay, un Jack así musculoso. Okay, one, two, three. Let's go to the park to go on to Sunday. Park on Sunday. Okay. 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 Do you eat, 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 eat breakfast then? Sure. Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then, then, let then, then next let at the restaurant, the restaurant on, on the clock, they serve breakfast every day. Every day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> a clap for you, people. You did a good job. Yeah, you did a good job. I need one final couple for volunteer. Okay, I need two volunteers. The two ultimo volunteers. Go ahead. Two Me volunteers. Teacher. Magdiel and? Me, teacher. And Blanca. Okay. You are going to read the conversation, but the two of you are angry. You are angry at each other. Let's go to the park on Sunday. You say, one, two, three, go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. No, bravo, Magdiel. Usted está bravo. Okay, one, two, three, go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, thanks early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, from one to ten, it was good. It was a ten. Very good job. Yeah, así se enojan mis alumnos. Se enojan no enojados. That was very good. Thank you very much, my dear class, for being here, for practicing. Tomorrow we are going to go on the book for the practice for the simple present. So if you can start checking it, uh, you can do it. Remember that we have homework to do to send me the paragraph tomorrow morning, right? Not today, tomorrow morning uh, with your seven to 10 lines about your job profile, okay? 
So that would be tomorrow. And today I am going to stay for a couple of minutes with Cesar. Have a beautiful night, my dear class, and I will see you tomorrow for the next session. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good Bye, night. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Uh, could you please repeat about the homework because I, <laughs> I couldn't uh, hear about that. Okay, the homework. The homework is about a, a job profile. The last class, let me show you here. Le voy a mostrar aquí en el libro. Por aquí lo tenemos. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ok. Ahorita. Aquí está. Ok. Eh, on the book. Let me see. Ah, I have it right here. In the... Oh, my God. I lost it. Ok. Espérenme que se me ha perdido todo. Ah, here I have it. Ok. On the book, in the previous class, we did the following. We talk about uh, Nicole, that she used to work in malls and everything. And yeah. she mentioned a little bit of her, uh, her work, like, story, right? Where uh, did she study? Where did she work and everything? So she's, she describes a little bit of her job experience, right? Okay. This is what we are going to do in the little paragraph. In oh, this, okay. Yeah, in ten, seven to 10 lines. You are okay. going to describe your job history, right? But in this case, for example, you're not going to say Nicole, you're going to say Aleida was born in Santa Ana, in San Salvador. She studied at National University. She worked there. Uh, she studied there for seven years or four years. Then she worked at, and you are going to start telling me the places mm -hmm. that you have worked. And where do you work right now? Okay. Oh, okay. Like in seven okay. lines. Okay. Teacher, so, thank you so much. Yeah, Magdiel. Uh, we're going to um, tell in third person or third person. In third person, right? Así okay. como estábamos aquí, que estaba como hablando acerca de usted mismo, right? Okay. So in this case, you're going to okay. say Magdiel uh, started in UCA University or Magdiel started in Francisco Gavide University, <clears throat> and you describe, okay? Okay, teacher. And then you send it to me on WhatsApp for me to check it, okay? Okay, teacher. Me lo envían a WhatsApp mañana para que yo lo pueda revisar, okay? Okay. okay Thank, Thank you, Magdiel. You Thank you. Thank you so much, teacher. Have, 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 have a good night, night everybody. Bye. I will good stay night. with Cesar for a moment. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Cesar, tell me a little bit about you. How have you felt in class? ¿Cómo te has sentido en las clases? Eh, me está costando un poco, hay que fíjese que, es que me quedé sin internet, la verdad, y, y entonces eh, me lo van a instalar, me han quedado que me lo van a instalar jueves o viernes. Ajá. Y, eh, por ejemplo, ahorita estoy trabajando desde casa, este, uh -huh. pero me movilizo, entonces me movilizo a la ciudad uh -huh. para poder trabajar, entonces ya de allí llego a la casa y ya... Igual en la casa no me pegan mucha señal de datos. Ah, okay. Entonces me movilizo a otra casa para recibir. <ríe> oh, my después, God. Sí, entonces eso me está complicando un poquito, por, o al menos esta, esta semana. Y no, no he podido así estudiar, por decirlo okay. así, estudiar bastante. Pero me, han, me, me, me quedaron los de la empresa de claro que el jueves o viernes me van a instalar el internet. Ya ok. En Ok, César. Eso es importante eh, y es importante que también lo comunique a los encargados de inglés corporativo para que ellos sepan el, el, la razón de sus ausencias, para que ellos sepan por qué usted no se ha estado conectando. Eh, entonces sí les recomendaría de que les, les haga un poquito ahí el, el, el mensaje de, de qué ha pasado, ¿verdad? qué días Exacto. ha faltado, Ajá, qué días ha faltado y el por qué. Because that's important right? for your attendance. Sí. Sí, a veces eh, la señal también me agarra. Por ejemplo, ahorita sí me agarra buena señal, pero a veces me agarra mala señal. Entonces, I know, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, is a very, que... it is a very complicated issue with the internet, right? It sí. is very complicated. But in general, in the classes that you have been part of, how have you felt? En las clases en las que ha podido estar, ¿cómo se ha sentido? Eh, ¿Tiene alguna, alguna duda, algún comentario, algo en lo que yo le pueda apoyar? 
Mm, pues me he sentido bien, la verdad, pero sí estuve revisando también este, la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y sí, ya, por ejemplo, ahorita sí no, no he podido hacerla por lo mismo, porque en el día como si sí trabajo y estar así, eh, les, les sería mentiroso decir que voy a hacerlo en el trabajo. Ok. okay. Pero uh -huh. espero poder avanzar el fin de semana. Ok, perfecto. Uh, today, at the beginning of the class, we did all the exercises of the platform. If you have any doubt, you can check on the video, right? Al principio de esta clase hicimos todos los ejercicios de la unidad 1 de la plataforma. Por si te trabajas en alguno, ahí puedes como consultar, ¿verdad? El, el, el video. O si no, you can send a message on WhatsApp and I can help you. But try to do it. It's very simple. It's mostly like multiple choice and you just choose the answer, right? It is not really complicated. So try to do some time to do the platform. Trate de hacer un chancecito de, de trabajar en la plataforma. Hay muchos ejercicios solo de escoger como de opción múltiple. So it can be easy, easy for you to work on it. And about English, Cesar, is there something that you need help with? Hay algo en lo que sí necesites ayuda en la cuestión de listening, reading, writing, speaking. Mm, me cuesta a veces entender. Ok, listening. What else? Listen. Ajá. Por eh, ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, usted habla rápido, entonces a veces ahí sí me cuesta a veces entenderle. Ok, it's good. That's a good thing. Whenever I start speaking fast, stop me. Dígame, teacher, teacher, va muy rápido. Right? Stop me. And tell me, or send me a message there in, 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 the, in the Zoom platform. Teacher, explain again. Okay, si de repente ya lo expliqué y lo expliqué muy rápido, envíame un mensaje, un mensaje en Zoom, un mensaje directo, un mensaje en WhatsApp. Teacher, explique de nuevo, me perdí, me quedé, no entendí. Right? Pero no te quedes con la duda ni con la pena de que no entendí lo que dijo la teacher. No, right? Send me a message and I will repeat. Okay? And I will repeat and I will talk again and I will explain as many times as possible. Right? It is complicated sometimes that I am explaining a lot of things fast. And if you don't stop me and you say like, teacher, explain again. I will do it. Okay? Tú, sin pena, me detienes, me dices, teacher, eh, ¿me podría explicar de nuevo? And I will do it, okay? Do you practice, do you practice English in any way during the day? Eh, in the, en los almuerzos y, en la, y temprano. A veces. For lunch. And who do you practice with? ¿Con quién practicas? Pues ahorita, bueno... Uh, un, con una amiga me estoy practicando. Más que oh. todo, ahorita estoy tratando la manera de escribir también. Ok. Con ella That's... solo estar escribiendo en inglés. That's very good. Enviando audios. That's very good. That's a very good practice, right? The audios. Because you practice listening and you practice speaking at the same time. Ok, so I am going to do my best, eh, César, to help you with eh, uh, practices on audios. To speak slowly, right? I am going to try to speak slow and uh, to help you with uh, more reading, okay? So that will be it. I hope you can solve the problem with the connection, but don't forget to send a message to English Corporativo for them to know the problem, okay? Okay. So, thank you for your time, eh, César, for staying with me. Gracias por quedarte conmigo en este ratito de tiempo para que platicáramos. Y pues, eh, anything that you need, let me know. Okay, cualquier cosa que necesites, házmelo saber. And remember, if you need an extra explanation, me mandas un mensaje. Say, teacher, explain again. I lost, I got lost. Okay, and try to connect to all the classes. Okay. Okay. Have a good night, Cesar, and I will see you tomorrow for another class. Okay, good night. See you Bye -bye. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.